Rangers Network. You have some right. correspondence, though, with us here, and I believe my colleague on NFL Network, Jason Lockenfora, is being joined by them. Oh, Jason. Thanks, Scott. I'm here with Chris Cooley and Darnell Dockett. I think these guys are trying to take my job. I don't know what's going on today. They got all the scoops. These are guys are journalism majors now. Cooley, what did you find out out there interviewing players today? What can you break down for us? Well, it's a whirlwind out here, <laughs> and it's tough to get to Peyton Manning. I know that. I think Chad got up there. Chad Johnson made it. But I had a blast. It's tough to uh, kind of figure out what you want to ask, guys. We're trying to have a lot of fun, be laid back, ask a little bit of a, a silly type of question. But uh, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the afternoon session. How about you? Did you get a chance to uh, do anything fun with these guys or get, op get anybody to open up? Or you know, what's, what's your interview style? Uh, no, not really, man. I talked to Dwight Freeney about the ankle. Um, he's, he's got five or six days to get that thing right. He's going to be a big part of their success if they're going to pull this thing off for their second championship. So, um, you know, it's just all fun in us. Like I said, we, we like the comedians of the news crew, you know. We get all the inside information. You got to remember, too, we get more information than a lot of people because we can just call these people on phone. He tripped it, me on the way in and knocked me down. Really? To get a, to get a said, scoop? He got through Peyton before you? They're going to film you for Sports Center on the way, and he tripped me down. Yeah, I you, got, you guys are, you guys are I, coming I, after it, man. I got a lot of style. Let me let me see these. These these look better on me. You know, you got to. I don't know if they're going to make it around your head. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> I, I warned you. I told you, bro. Whoa. Man. Who do you guys think are going to win this game, honestly, now? Like, for real, prediction. <laughs> you can't even look at me. Look at I, I, yourself. I'm, like, over here somewhere. Are you still here? <laughs> How can I take you seriously? Oh, dude, um, I need to get in line. I feel like it, it's tough to cheer, to cheer against Peyton Manning or root against Peyton Manning. I, the guy knows what he's doing. I think at any point in the game, the Colts are down. you got to say Peyton's going to lead a comeback. I'd like to see a team that hasn't won it. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of be an underdog NFC guy throughout the week. So we'll see what happens. Well, me at first. Yeah, we want actually a, a numbered prediction okay, for, for well, your, like, for me, exactly. For, for me at first, I really couldn't see, you know, who winning. But now Literally, I, you can't see right now. <laughs> now I really I really can see the future in these. So, um, well, let me ask you this seriously, though. What's your future without Kurt Warner now? I mean, you guys obviously reached the Super Bowl. I don't, I don't, want, I, I don't, want, I don't want your glasses no more. <laughs> <laughs> How about the question, though? Is, is Matt, can Matt Liner get you guys to where Kurt Warner did? Um, yes, he, he's, it's going to take a lot of work. And um, I think that he definitely can fill the shoes. Um, I think that he's just going to have to, you know, understand that the offense more. He's, a lot of pressure is going to be on him. But at the end of the day, he can do it, you know. Um, we believe in him. He was a high first-round draft pick for us. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great offseason. And we're going to be competitive, you know. And that's, at the end of the day, somebody got to take in. And we respect Kurt. But at the end of the day, you know, his career has been among some of the best top quarterbacks. And he deserves to have an option to retire and things like that. We're definitely going to miss him. But, you know, if, if you're going to go out, that's the way to go out. Go out on top. Chris, there's some change in Washington where, where you play as well. Have you had a chance to interact with Coach Shanahan, have any kind of feel if he's going to truly be the guy to get that offense over the hump? Yeah, I was uh, fortunate enough to sit down and talk to Coach Shanahan for a half hour or so before uh, the last couple weeks, and it was a great conversation. He seemed really excited about being the head coach of the Washington Redskins, definitely had already gotten himself to work, seemed extremely busy. I kind of had to hunt him down around the facility to manage to get into his office, but Talked about all the film he'd watch, talked about his excitement for running the offense, the, the personnel that he already has there. And I think it'll be great. I think it's, it's what we need. I think that there will be a lot of stability over the next couple years, which has been a huge dilemma for, for the Washington Redskins, and I think he'll bring a lot of stability. And um, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to get back to work when you get into a situation like this. You always want to get into everything as soon as possible. I appreciate your time. Keep breaking those scoops, and I'm going to try to get out of here without getting a wedgie. Back to you, Scott. <laughs>